Hey guys, Greg again. So this is issue 9 and 10 of the Legendary Cars collection. Um, we'll have a look at issue one, uh, issue 9 first, sorry. Um, so this is the Ford Mustang. So you have information about the Ford Mustang. Uh, your car in more detail. So bonnet lights, technical data, air vents, modifications, doors, all very basic detailing. Then you have the Ford in the 60s and automobile manufacturing in the interwar period part one, nine. I don't know, can't really read that. So that's issue number nine. Have a look at the car. I actually quite like this Ford Mustang. I'm not much of a Ford um, type of person, but I do like the Mustang. The front's a little bit disappointing. Totally different to what the picture in the car, that picture there looks like. So that's the model. The doors don't open, nothing like that. Wheels turn, yeah, wheels turn. All right, so we'll look at issue number 10. All right, I apologize if I can't pronounce this. I think this is the Packard boat tail. That's definitely probably not wrong. Speedster. And the next model is the Chevrolet Corvette, is the next issue, I think that's issue number 11. Um, so information about the car, I'm not going to try and pronounce it again. So details of the actual car, so you've got the mascot, radiator grill, technical data, bumpers, a short lived series, and the windscreen. Uh, the history of Packard and the American independent manufacturing in the 1950s and 60s. Sorry about the cord. My iPad's almost flat. So this is the card that you get. Very nice looking car, if you ask me. Very lightweight compared to the uh, Mustang. Mustang is quite heavy. I think it must be the heaviest one out of the whole series so far. So there you have it. There are the two cars of the next two uh, magazines. And I'll see you next time.